Hi! It is Wednesday over here. We are at the beach. This is the second day in a row. We got sunshine. We're at the beach. Alicia is going to make an appearance and also my brother Mike will be making an appearance too. Can you see? Okay, there's Mike. Let's add him in. We're good. Oh. Let me try that again. Add Mike. Hey, hey. Hello. What's up, brother? I'm enjoying the sunshine. Can you see this little cutie over here? Hi, yay. <laughs> she wanted to be in the video. <laughs> oh, look at this other cutie. What's up? Pop up a little bit so everybody can see it. Hey, Fraz. Hey, guess what? What? Me and Michael, we were talking to Michael when we were at the Beagle Shop. Oh, no way. Yeah. Double Michael? That's a great day. Michael twi yeah. twice in a day. Oh my goodness. So Mike, how is the audio? Like, obviously I'm at the beach, the waves, but can you hear me all right? Perfect. Yay. Okay, great. Oh, yay doesn't want to be put down. She like really wants to be in our video. Yeah, it's a two, 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 two in a row. She's going to be in there now. Nice. Yeah, I, she really likes this energy. She is like, yeah, you guys are speaking that soul knowledge and I want to be there. I love it. Try to the energy. Yeah. Well, I have a, a thought that I was um, feeling like sharing about today, if you're open to it. Yes, please. Okay, cool. All right, Faisi, you play with some toys in the sand. Awesome. Okay, so this is what I was, I was feeling today. I woke up feeling called to share about how I, when Josh and I first started our relationship, and also when we first met, how much I was in my masculine and how much he was in his feminine so that right there we talk about polarities and there's polarity so that's why it worked because we had the polarity of him being in his him being in his feminine me being in my masculine that polarity they worked they charged each other and I started to feel like when I was first in that state, and you met me in that state, Mike, mm -hmm. so you know, mm -hmm. you're familiar. Um, but I was very much like, I can do everything myself. I was very much, I'm gonna take care of it. Like Josh can open the door for me, but I don't need him to. I'm gonna open my own door. I can open my own door. I can pay for my own food. We can, or we can go 50-50, you know, when we go out to eat. Um, I can take the trash out myself. I can, uh, I have my own business. I'm making my own money. Kind of like that, like I'm in my like boom, boom, boom. And I'm not saying that if you're in that state, you have to necessarily be in your masculine, but I was in my masculine in those ways. When we talked the other day about the feminine receiving compliments, when you brought that up, that was very much somebody would give me a compliment I would immediately just give it right back to them because I wasn't in a receiving state so you know someone was like oh I love your outfit I'd be like thank you I love your outfit your outfit is so cute which there's nothing wrong with giving someone a compliment but the point is that if we don't receive our compliment first then that's really showing us something so I was fully in that like in I would say every way I could be it was very much like just me doing me and I was in that masculine state. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned before, it was working because it was, we were in, we had polarity. And also at the same time I knew and I could like feel inside of myself that I didn't feel good necessarily. I didn't know why it didn't feel good. I didn't know what didn't feel good. I just knew that whatever I was doing didn't feel fully great. Mm -hmm. So I eventually got opened up to the concept of sacred femininity, the divine feminine. And I started going down that route and I started to realize really, really quickly, this feels amazing. <laughs> the more I dipped my toe into that, the more I let myself be in my feminine, the more I was like, this is what I've been seeking. This is that thing that I've been feeling is out there is available. 
and it felt so right. That was the biggest thing. It just felt right. It felt like it was answering my questions. It feeling, felt like it was giving me guidance. And from that space, I started to notice the masculine around me starting to change. So the men in my life starting to respond differently, starting to act differently around me. And something I think would be very interesting for everybody watching to know is that when you go on a journey of your feminine or your masculine, everyone around you starts going on their journey too. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much inevitable. It has to happen. They're either going to go on the journey or they're going to phase out. They're going to fade out if they're not willing to go there because they'll no longer match the, the same frequency. And so, Mike, I've seen you go on your journey to the masculine. Like all the people around us in our lives, especially our whole family right now, like your mom, your sister, my mom, my dad, everyone is on this journey to deeper levels of the masculine and the feminine. And I really want to highlight that because it's so powerful when we, one person, decide to do that. Um, it ripples out. And as I was really allowing more femininity into my life, all of a sudden, Mike, who's always been my friend and then brother, becomes such a, a sacred masculine ally in my life. Mm -hmm. Because you were stepping into your masculine at new levels. I'm stepping into my feminine at new levels. And it just starts to be so powerful. Like, I've always been grateful that you've been my brother and I've been, I always wanted a brother. I'm an only child. So growing up, I was like, I want a brother. I want a sister. I got a brother and a sister when I married Joshua, which is so amazing. I got two great ones. I've always valued you all, but more than ever, when you were stepping into your masculine and I was stepping into my feminine, I was like, you are the brother I always wanted. Mm -hmm. Like the way that you, I feel like you're my protector, the way I feel like you show up for my feminine, the way I feel like you are uh, uh, consistent and reliable and dependable and stable and grounded. It's like, those are things that the divine masculine do. And not every man is in that. So I just felt called to share that today for anybody who is watching and hopefully just shine some light. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on all that too, Mike. Yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that you, um just went right in with that. I, I was going to actually ask you, put you on the spot and ask you to define what you feel and believe and define as feminine and masculine traits. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I was going to do that, which you just, you just spoke to the masculine traits and uh, maybe we can touch on the feminine traits in a minute. But what, what I was feeling to speak about, what, I, what I'm noticing ever since we talked two days ago about me realizing and seeing women not being able to receive compliment uh, from the masculine was, was talking about like everybody I, I believe will go on a journey here, like right now to identify what, what is their, their definition of masculine traits and feminine traits, and then start to, to, to honor and realize, Oh, I've been operating in my in more masculine traits for some time. And again, that's perfectly fine. Do that. But if you're, if your innate self is, is designed to be in, in your feminine traits and you've been in your masculine traits for so long, like you were when you first met Josh, now the shift has taken place and doesn't mean you won't go back to being in your masculine traits again, but why not find the balance? Why not honor both sides of feminine and the masculine and then sit with that feminine and masculine balance and say, which one feels best to me? And it might show up at different times differently, but to be, and as you were speaking, Speaking, what came to me was more like, oh, wow, At, for some point in my life, I was in a feminine, more feminine trait as well. And I, and I, I identify that now as having been conditioned that way. Same with Joshua. And more so for you in the masculine, I can see where you had been conditioned and you'd seen more masculine traits and how you identify with them, became to identify with those. And like you said, they do work, but over time, it kind of wears thin. It's not, it's not sustainable because it's not our innate natural selves yeah. doesn't mean we can't go back to it and pull from it and use it and find a balance but at the same time we got to honor like when it's not serving us 100 percent sustainably all the time 
And I believe a great way of doing that is just being able to look at these traits. Because last night I was with a friend, a woman, and I said to her, I said, we went, we went to go see a film at one of the local museums. And we were, I was getting out of the car and I was going to my house. And I said to her, I said, earlier tonight when we got together, you were in this beautiful feminine energy. And it was really, it just felt, I just, I, I want to praise you. I just want to give you the praise. It felt really nice to just see you. I know you as a human to see you in that energy and in that, in that, in that feeling. And she got really excited. And then you could see in her eyes and she's like, and she clicked back into her masculine. She's a very masculine dominated, dom dominant mind and body sometimes as she's working through business. And she clicked back into the, the, the masculine trait real quick. And I, and I looked at her and she looked at me and she's like, that didn't feel good to click back into the masculine. And I was like, cool. So I said the same thing again to her about the feminine and praised her. And she just was just smiling and sitting in that. And she's like, that, that just felt so good to sit in that. I haven't sat in that in probably 10 years. And I said, cool, now you can choose. And just something so similar like that, just honoring and identifying when we are quite possibly blocking our feminine, our masculine traits because of the inverse. Um, so yeah, if you, if you have any thoughts on or any, if you can just maybe throw out what to you feminine traits are, I, I would love to actually hear those as well. Yeah, definitely. So in my opinion, like of my own personal self and what I enjoy, feminine is like this, well, number one, receiving. It's, it's the energy of receiving. Mm -hmm. um, like we spoke about the other day, it's like even anatomically, the feminine body is designed to receive the masculine body is designed to give so there's like a receiving there whether it's receiving compliments or receiving things or receiving energy or receiving the masculine's being there's receiving and it's such a broad wide thing to be a woman and be receiving or be in your feminine and be receiving but that receiving state that the softness there's a um you know i've heard it described before as like women being like the weather there's it's always changing women being like the ocean one minute big waves the next minute calm like always shifting always adapting in each moment of like where she's at and where she's going it's a flow so there's like a flow to the feminine there's a delight there's a joy there's a pleasure and there is a like receiving of life so like life is happening around us at all moments and in any one mo moment whether we're here at the beach and it's like the most perfect beautiful sunny day or we're in like the subway in new york and it's just like not the vibe there can be a receiving of bliss and pleasure and um the sweetness and the decadence of a moment mm. of life so just really like being in that feeling state allows the masculine to feel really safe in his most natural energies and vice versa. So those are just a couple. I feel like there's a lot of things that go with the feminine, but those are like some of the ones that I feel are biggest. Just as in, in being in my masculine now and just hearing you say it and express about the feminine is really beautiful right there. It, it, I can actually like feel the energy in my body. like. You're like, oh, wow, that feels nice to conceptualize, to hear, to see. You know, it had nothing to do with me other than just hearing what, what is. Yeah, um, just thinking about it and feeling it. Yeah. It feels good. <laughs> and, like, and, like, and then conceptualizing myself actually bringing me into it to, like, be grounded in next to an energy like that and be like, oh, go, I'm here grounded. Go flow. You know, like, I'm here, ground, I'm here grounded next to you while you're flowing. It's, it's just it, it feels like a a complimentary balance really beautiful yeah what is it what feelings do you get when you think about being around the feminine in that way you know and from today's my viewpoint today and being grounded and, and who i am today like knowing how i operate and able to decide in the moment how i operate it, it's a sense of like of 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 allowing being allowed to to operate in my most authentic self and being able to be seen whether the flow is happening or somebody is being grounded in, in their feminine in that moment just knowing that i will be seen i don't have to be praised but i will be seen for what i'm doing how i'm doing it how i desire to do it 
and that's going to happen by me just doing me. And it doesn't mean I have to go, hey, see me. Hey, you're flowing right now, but look at me. It's more like I can just be grounded and I will be seen because yeah. I know. Yeah, yeah like that, that, the masculine loves to be acknowledged. And like you're saying, from that, st- not the necessarily the state of like, hey, I acknowledge you for blah, blah, blah. Like from the state of, hey, like I am open to love i'm open to the the love of the universe i'm open to the love of this moment of this day the masculine can just be in that and just be like i feel seen i feel heard from that i feel acknowledged from that alone mm-hmm. yeah because the reality of it is you know, if you speaking about like masculine or feminine we just have different relationships different ways of navigating life and it, the most simple thing of like coming back and being grounded in the feminine, just coming into my energy and just saying, hi, I love you. And just us sitting together for four minutes at the end of the day and just holding each other is so much confirmation when they've been out the entire day living their life. Four minutes can change the entire energetic field. You know, a minute, one one second it doesn't have to be this this words of affirmation as much. It's just the confirmation of the of the flow coming back together and connecting and aligning. Yeah, like a a feeling like when you come back, you come back to peace. You come back to a whole person who feels good, who is, whose cup is full, full, who's full of love, who's overflowing with life and joy from the day. And then you come in and you're just like amazing yeah. this is great i don't have to do anything i don't have to be anything i don't have to fix anything which is what happens a lot of times um in relationships where everything's out of balance is a guy comes in and is like oh no i gotta fix it for her that's how i show her i love her that's how i get acknowledged i fix it i make it better i do the stuff instead you're just coming into a space where you're like she feels amazing i feel amazing this is perfect let's just enjoy life together yeah wow ah. Yeah, we're coming up on a little over 10 minutes. I, that, I mean, everything that we've said, as you said, has been beautiful today. I, I'm so glad that you walked right into this scenario and started expressing you. That's, I mean, thank you for expressing you and allowing us to see you. Um, I, I would like to leave you and myself, as well as anybody who watches this and is, and is watching this, with, um, yeah, start to look into the feminine and the masculine traits that you carry. Um, and start to identify when you are in your masculine, when you are in your feminine, and and know that whenever you are in either one, it's perfectly fine. It's literally just the act of identifying it, and then feeling in to what it is that you feel, why you are in your masculine, why you are in your feminine. And sometimes when you're in your masculine and in your feminine too, but more so in your masculine, you might actually think a little more than you feel when you because when you're in your feminine, you might feel more than you think. And start to identify how, what's happening there. And, and you'll start to see how you show up and how people are showing up to you and for you. So good. Yeah. Can't wait for everybody to dive into that. Please share it in the comments when you do it. We would love to hear what you're finding. Absolutely. Cool. Thanks, bro. Thank you, sis. I love you. Love you, too. See you all in a video soon. Love you all. Love you all. Enjoy that sunshine. Oh, I will. You too. Thank you.